Okay, which of the following triangle has the biggest area? We have a triangle with sides 10, 10, 10, or 10, 10, 5, or 10, 10, 10, or 10, 10, 15, and lastly, we have 10, 10, and 19. This question is from the Oxford Math Admission Test in the year of 2023. I think it's really nice. At first though, I thought the answer is 10, 10, 10 when we have an equilateral triangle. But that's only under the condition that when we have all the triangles with the same parameter. Whenever you have a triangle with the same parameter, then equilateral triangle has the biggest area. That's a fact. But all the parameters are different, so we can use that. Hmm, so what do we do? Well, you know the deal. Please pause the video and try this first. Done? Okay. Notice everybody has 10 and 10. So that's the key, huh? So of course, right now, we have to look for how the third set can help us. But the question right now is, if we have a triangle with two sides, how can we find the area? Well, there's actually a nice formula for that. Suppose we have a triangle with two sides. Let's say this right here is A and this right here is B. And uh, let's say we have an angle theta here. And let's say this is third side C. Doesn't really matter that much though. If we know A and B and the angle in between, then we know the area is nicely one half times A and B. One more little thing times sine of the angle theta. Cool. Now, if you look at this expression, how can such a triangle be the biggest? Well, that's the situation when we have the biggest value for sine theta. And the biggest value for sine theta is 1, under the condition that theta is equal to what? 90 degrees. So you just kind of have to turn this right here, which will make it a dry triangle. So we have a right triangle like this, A and B, with a 90 degree here, and C. And as we can see, we have 10 for these two sides. Now, if you want to get to the biggest area, then we have 10 and 10, which this right here will be 10 times square root of 2, because this is a 45, 45, 90 special right triangle, because the two sides are equal. So C must be 10 times square root of 2 in order for us to get the biggest area when we have 10 and 10. But none of this is 10 square root of 2. But don't worry. Square root of 2 is about what? 1.414 each, right? So this right here is approximately 10 times 1.414, which is about 14.14. Which of this number is closest to 14.14? The answer for that is D, the 15. So this right here will have the biggest area among all these options. It's so cool, isn't it? By the way, you can also use the Hirons formula to compute the area of this, 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 and that triangle, and leave a comment down below and let me know what you get.